れからと私が天に Alright, what is going on, you guys? This is your boy, the Death Smasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today, I am back again with yet another Shuri Summon video. Because guess what? In just a couple of more days, we are going to be getting the end of the month banner, being round two of the anniversary. And this time around, it is Spirits Are Forever with You round two. But hold on, boys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This banner is actually good. This banner is actually very good compared to the shit show that was Spirits Are Forever With You Round 1 because we have ourselves the Beyond Bankai variants of Shunsui and Jushu and as a surprise, oh look at that, we even got ourselves Yamamoto and oh boy, this is already looking very lit and they made all three of the characters good. They were not shafted in any way, shape or form. Well, there is some slight shaft to Shunsui but it doesn't make him a terrible character. Matter of fact, he is still going to be a very amazing character to play as with regardless, and I am going to break down why on the character once I pretty much get to breaking down every single one of these uh, spirits are forever worthy characters. But to sum things up real quick, uh, Yamamoto, he's going to be a PvP character, and he's basically going to be putting Jugrem and Tsukishima out of their misery because this guy comes armed with Brave Battle Invincibility plus Ignore Brave Battle Invincibility. So already this character is going to be the next PvP king. Uh, Shinsui is basically the next uh, Mind Link Slot Potion character, so for those of you guys that don't have Kisuke, which... Oh god, I feel bad if you guys still don't have Kisuke by now. This character is actually going to be a very good unit and is an SP-based character, so for when it comes to uh, doing Mind Inheritance Zone, he's actually going to be your go-to for doing very fast runs. And then Jushiro, he is by far the best speed NAD character that we have ourselves in the game, and is just by far the best NAD unit that we have overall in the game and i'm going to break down into why but anyways um before we take a look at the main banner which by the way it's going to be a seven step banner this time around so one step is free but you only have one guaranteed five star pool on step six and then from step seven you basically spend 250 orbs uh forever basically you don't even reset the steps which is unfortunate but we do have the individual banners dropping alongside the actual uh banner well, it's going to be in separate dates, but if you guys want my honest opinion, uh, you want to save the individual banners as a last resort because the uh, fillers are not as crazy as uh, the main banner, which I'm going to get into why, but let's just break down the fillers real quick on the individual banners. Uh, Jushiro is by far the worst out of all the individual banners because he only has one good filler, and that is the Christmas Momo, and even then, as a Link Slot Potion character, Swimsuit Retsu, is miles better than her, and then we have Fierce Battle Zalapero, who is just very trash, Quincy killer, and literally plays exactly like Aura, except instead of having a crawling vortex, he has a plant vortex, and no havoc, no recharge, he is a terrible character, and uh, Makoto, um, how do I sum this character up real quick, uh, basically Thousand Year Blower Uryu, Without the Havoc, without the uh, whole uh, status ailment reversal skill, he's just a very junk character and whatnot, and has laceration. Sure, he is the GOAT, but nah, nah. I I'm not screwing around here. I'm not going to be screwing around here with the memes. I'm being very realistic. Shinsui's banner right here is actually very good because he does come armed with two very good fillers being the Fierce Battle Renji and the Fierce Battle Yoruichi, which... Funny enough, both are units you actually do want to have for a spot a week since they are both Nad Flurry characters and this Yoruichi especially in particular is definitely worth having because not only is she going to be very great to use in a spot a week since she has uh, poise, she has flurry and she has the plant vortex but she can also give uh, speed soul reapers an extra 20% bruiser so having her along with Jushiro is freaking uh gg's and then we have uh, this orient society nelio which don't get me wrong it's a good character she does have double lunges and everything and has the same sa3 as Byakuya without the havoc but i'm gonna be real with you guys having shunsui is a lot better than having this nelio 
And then we have Yamamoto's banner, which is also a pretty good banner because he does come armed with the Desert Society Yoruichi, which is a Chronicle Quest bonus and a very good melee uh, nad Soul Reaper killer for uh, GQ and whatnot. She does not have Guard Break, but the fact that she actually has a boost with Paralysis on everything, Flurry with 40% Bruiser, makes her a very good character. The only disappointing thing is that she doesn't have Guard Break. And then Gin and Izuru, also a very good unit. They play exactly like the Hearts in Getsu, without the Sparrow Plus 2 and has uh, Poison on everything, has Soul Reaper and Hollow Killer. You cannot go wrong with this character. Yo, I need to get one more copy of this character. He's literally 4 or 5. And then this Gin Ray right here, pretty good uh, for uh, ranged Hollow Week since he is a Nad Flurry character for that week alone. And that's basically uh, the individual banners completely summed up. So, like, honestly, guys. Summon on the individual banners once you guys are done with the main banner because the main banner is where it's at because I won't lie I did not expect Caleb to do a complete u-turn because I thought that this banner in terms of overall uh, fillers It was gonna be a bit less impressive compared to round one, but instead no they actually made the banner just as good as round one because looky here boys we have not one, not two, three Cant Fairy on World banners on the same banner alongside the brand new Spirits Are Forever We Do characters. And to that, I say bravo, Kayla, because this is a very excellent banner, which has a lot of value. And I'm going to be breaking down every single one of these characters uh, using the BBS Simulator. So shout outs to Soldex for that. And let's just go ahead and jump over to the BBS Simulator so that way I can start breaking down it every single filler one by one starting from the lowest end so yeah all right so here we are on the bbs simulator so we're gonna start off uh directly uh with these three characters right now and then we'll move on to uh round six and round seven and then we'll move on to the spirits are forever with you characters so um yeah starting off with count on round five which is basically the least uh impressive out of the entire banner but that being said, the characters are decent in and of itself. So starting it off with Kisuke, he is a speed uh, no affiliation killer with a 40% Berserker. No Havoc, unfortunately, but he does come armed with uh, Frenzy, has insta-kill on the uh, special, uh, and he also has a very good kit since he has the 2500 length beam, 800 circular radius AoE in front on the SA2, and then the third strong attack is a charge SA, which starts off at 750 radius and then goes to 900 radius. Very, very good character. I do think that this character is slept a lot, and I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I kind of felt stupid for hating on this character. I'm not gonna lie, just because of the no affiliation killer. Nah, this character is still pretty good. He's not the best, but he is still pretty good. I would say top 10 speed units. I would not say top 5, but just top 10 easily. Uh, this Nelia, not really that amazing if I'm being honest. That being said, she does have Frenzy with Berserker at 40, Guard Break, no Havoc. And uh, the unfortunate thing, it's literally the fact that she doesn't have Havoc. Otherwise, this character would have been pretty decent because she does have the Range Collision 40% Mag Pushback. If you guys are unaware of what that is like, it's basically the same as Thousand Year Blower Eisen's first strong attack. SA2 is the 2500 length beam move, and then the SA3 is the 975 radius uh, AoE distance. The character in and of itself is good, but the thing is, she doesn't bring anything special to the table. It's not like where Swimsuit Retsu has the similar kit as her with the fact that she has Havoc and the Length Slot Potion uh, skill. Like literally, Retsu is literally relevant just because of the fact that she has the Link Slot Potion skill. Other than that, she can pretty much easily be replaced by the likes of 5th Anniversary Byakuya and uh, Tanjiro, just to give you guys an honest idea. And then last of round 5 is Halibel, which I do not have. I also don't have Kisuke, so I'm definitely going to want to have him. Uh, she does have Frenzy with Guard Break, Berserker at 40%, no Havoc again, unfortunately. And uh, I do kind of want to say that maybe she is the best in Banner out of all of them, since she does have the Holo Killer Frenzy with a 40% Berserker and Guard Break and whatnot. Her SA1 is the only thing that really sucks, since it is the 18% mag pushback attack for those that want the actual similarities. It's basically the same as... What the frick? How? How is it similar to the 40% mag pushback? That makes no sense. It's weird, and it's 18... So you're telling me it's gonna have the same distance as these characters, yet it's an 18% mag pushback? I don't like it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, second strong attack, 800 radius AoE in front, and then the third strong attack is 1000 radius. Uh, just an overall good character. 
if she had Havoc, I feel like she would actually be better than Koga in this case, but instead she doesn't, but <laughs> it is what it is, like, I can't really complain. Anyways, up next, these fillers that we're about to get into, at least a good couple of them are going to be the ones you are going to want the most, because I'm gonna get into why. So, Bankai Shinji. This character, I would argue to say that he is still top 5 of the best power characters that we have in the game and is an insane Soul Reaper killer. I would not say that he's better than Liebato, but he is still up there in terms of overall skills and what he comes armed with because he does have Frenzy with Havoc at 20%, Berserker at 20%, plus the Berserker he gives out to himself and all other power captains and whatnot, so it's basically like as if he has a 40% Berserker. He has damage to confused enemies at 40%, Debilitar plus 5 seconds and whatnot, Sprinter. Uh, the only disappointing factor is the fact that he doesn't have Devastation, but even then he has damage to confused enemies plus 40, so once you uh, use the special, you will still be able to uh, nuke a bit just fine, and if that isn't enough, guys, get Shinji to uh, T15 and unlock damage to confused enemies plus 40%. You can turn that into 80% and make his special hit harder, and once he inflicts confusion on his uh, attacks, you'll be able to hit harder, making him a guy that you actually may want to use for melee Soul Reaper League. And this character is perfect. Like, he has the 3000 length beam move, but with the 870 width, so let's clear that out right now. 960 radius in front, and then the third strong attack being the 1200 radius full screen attack. Nothing wrong with this character. I think he is absolutely ridiculous, and for his time, he, he was just one of the best characters to pretty much have in the game, literally. Like, that's all I gotta say. Up next, we have the Cantron of Grimjow, the canon one, the good one that we have here, and this character is mainly going to be perfect for melee soul reaper week because he has flurry with a 40 percent bruiser guard break hit hit an enemy chance 100 percent and poise so this character is pretty much a very fast auto to use if you guys uh don't enjoy autoing with tokinata this character is actually going to be very good to use and he can also be somewhat used in pvp i want to say somewhat because of the fact that we all have the characters that have the brave battle invincibility and whatnot so pretty much there's that to uh go for for grim Jow, but his main use is basically going to be in Melee Soul Reaper Week. He has uh, also very decent strong attack since he has double lunges and then the third strong attack being the same uh, vacuum into explosion attack that 5th Anniversary Byakuya has. Other than that, he's an excellent character if I do say so myself. I don't enjoy playing as this character because I prefer Tokinata as a nag character, but he is still a very good character to have regardless. He, along with Shinji, are definitely worth having dupes invested into. And then up next we have the Count uh Loopy, which is a decent character, but he's not really the best, and he's pretty much the shaft of the banner. And he has a no affiliation killer as uh, a mind character, has frenzy, have like a 20% and berserker at 20, but he is quite a mid character. Like he's okay to play as if you guys want to enjoy the character. He's still gonna be able to clear content just fine, but there's just better no affiliation killers to use for mind. You're reaching soy phone. <clears throat> He does come armed with weakening on all of his attacks. His first strong attack, unfortunately, is the worst out of all the strong attacks since it is the 18% mag pushback attack, and this time it is very similar to the likes of Don Kanonji, the Arena Byakuya, Spirit Society Shinji. It's a god awful attack. SA2 is basically the same SA1 that the art book Ichigo has, so it's not a terrible strong attack. So, just to give you guys as a reference, it is what it is, and then the third strong attack is full screen 1200 radius. The SA1 is pretty terrible, but he does uh, make it up with the SA2 and the SA3, so you know, it's not a full shaft at the end of the day, but he was not given justice, so that's all I gotta really say about this loopy. I don't hate this character as much as I did day one, but he still deserved better in my honest opinion. Up next, we have the Cant Feron Road Kampachi, which is by far one of the worst overall Link Slot Potion characters that we have in the game. Yet, he is still valuable just because of the fact that he is a Link Slot Potion character. So, like, uh, having him in your box, if you guys still do not have Spirits Are Forever with you, Uryu, he is still going to be making the cut just fine. And if you guys get dupes of this character, not only will you be able to, um, you know, play in Hurt and Zone just fine, but you can also use him for melee or Ronker week. 
Like, he may not be hitting as hard as the Fierce Battle Nelio, but he is going to get the job done just fine. Which, by the way, I have him 5 out of 5, and he is not a joke at all, so... <laughs> uh, I'm not going to lie, I kind of was lucky that I got him 5-5. Five, five. So yeah, Flurry with Bruiser at 40%, Poise, Paralysis Immunity. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Guard Break, which is basically why he is the worst out of all the Link Slot Potion characters. Meaning that you have to Guard Break with your strong attacks a lot, and the fact that you don't have status ailments will just make this character a chore to pretty much play as, since the only strong attacks he has is a 2500 length beam move. SA2 is a plant vortex. It should have been a walking vortex, but they decided to be very stupid and give him a freaking plant vortex, and then the third strong attack is full screen, a thousand radius. K-Lab executed this character poorly for when it comes to farming Inheritance Zone, but for GQ purposes, he's not that terrible. And then we have uh, Seinosuke right here. He's a decent character and whatnot. He does come armed with Frenzy, Guard Break, and Berserker at 40% with Havoc. That being said, you need to have dupes into him in order to be good because this character is literally range collision king himself since he has a 40% mag pushback attack. Keep in mind that it's not the same as Nini's where it just slightly pushes back and does a lot of damage. This character will push back a lot with this SA1. It will literally push all the way back to Kingdom Come. SA2, uh, same SA2 as the likes of Bankai Hikone, Tokinata, and then the third Tron attack is full screen. Just that with the SA2, because it is a heal move, you will have to wait for 20 seconds. Oh, yeah, it's also shield move, so yeah, definitely 20 seconds you'll have to wait to use the Tron attack. But you know what? Since it is a heal plus shield move, I'm not complaining. The only complaint I have is the fact that this character is not useful in ranged Aronko Week. He's going to be very great to use in IT when Max transcended, but there's just better characters. <clears throat> Fierce Battle Uri. <clears throat> but that being said, I enjoy this character. I'm going to be realistic with you. And then we have the Canfiro no uh, Shunsui. This character is also a no affiliation killer. That is power. But this character does not disappoint for what he has. And having him for no affiliation week could be of some value. Because I'm going to get into why. Because he has Frenzy, Havoc at 20%, Damage to Lacerated Enemies plus 40%, Berserker at 20%, Debilitator plus 2 seconds, Devastation 40%. Look, guys, the fact that he has Devastation at 40% plus Damage to Lacerated Enemies. Look, all I'm going to say is... If you got this guy T20, give him damage to lacerated enemies plus 40%, making it an easy 80% plus weakened defense for no affiliation week, you are going to be clapping cheeks with this character. And he has a very decent kit where he has a lunge on the SA1, SA2 being exactly the same as the Canfiro no Chuhei's, being uh, the Vacuum uh, Vortex type of strong attack. And then the third strong attack is basically the same as the... Um, the swimsuit red suit 1170 radius in front very very good character if i do say so myself it's just that he was given the wrong killer but even then he's very good to use it's just that it's only an it where we don't really have a use for no affiliation killers that is just about the unfortunate thing and that's basically all the fillers summed up all of them are pretty good and they all have their own value and now we can finally get into the Spirits Are Forever With You character. So starting it off with Yamamoto. This character is freaking toxic in PvP because for starters, he already has Prevent Brave Battle Healing. So he's already going to be countering Tsukishima's Drain. He has Ignore Brave Battle Invincibility. He's already going to be screwing around with Tsukishima and Jugram. And to top it all off, Brave Battle Temporary Invincibility as well. What the hell is this character? And comes armed with Flurry and 20% Bruiser. And guys, that's not all. That's that's not all. Hold on. I'm not even done talking. He even has innate skills of Drain Immunity, Weaken Immunity, and Sprinter Plus. This character is freaking toxic. <laughs> oh my god. This character is so stupidly toxic and whatnot. What, what is this character? And he even has the best kit for when it comes to guard breaking in PvE just for general autoing since he has the lunge on SA1. SA2, 800 secular AoE in front, and then the third strong attack is full sweet. They gave him the best kit for PvE for guard breaking, and they made him a good PvP character that's so toxic. That being said, there's still better heart characters like <clears throat> Tokinata, <clears throat> Masaki. <clears throat> But he is still uh, going to be pretty good for autoing outside of PvP and whatnot. The only problem I have with this character is the fact that he has a stern rigor killer. I feel like if he had no affiliation killer, it would have been 10 times better. 
just because of the fact that you could use them in PvE as the way it should be. You can use them in No Affiliation Week, and you can use them in PvP, but instead they decided to just give him Storm Ritter Clear just to say goodbye to Jugram. Basically. Best way to put it. Up next is uh, Shunsui. Oh my god, Venral, you better get this character a 5-5. That's all I gotta say. Uh, strong attack creature time of minus 14%. Pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. He has the uh, Link Stop Potion skill, Berserker at 40%, Frenzy plus 1, Guard Break, Havoc at 20%, and he has Weakening on his entire kit. Guys, this is actually the first non-anniversary, non-special character to finally get a Berserker of plus 40 with a status ailment. So we're finally gonna get out of the hole. Oh, if this character has a status ailment, this character is only gonna get Frenzy with Havoc and 20% Berserker. So thank God for that, because I do think that Frenzy with 20% Berserker is starting to be a bit outdated, in my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And in terms of innate skills, he does have Innervator, which is basically gonna be the skill that will randomly allow him to inflict weakening without attacking any enemies every five seconds sprinter and weaken immunity so other than that pretty good skills but that being said his sa2 is very disappointing because it is a homing vortex except here's the problem it's just the homing vortex it's not like uh you can pretty much expect it to be the same as per se aizen or byakuya that has the 960 first it does the hits and then turns into a homing vortex. No, this is directly the homing vortex as it is. Now for autoing and for having a bit of crowd control, it's not the worst strong attack. It is still going to be better than the regular uh, crawling vortex, but it's still a very weak SA2 regardless to the point that it's just disappointing. But that being said, his SA3 is also very good because he has the charge AoE in front, the same SA3 as 5th Anniversary Ichigo and Machine Society Nemu. 840 radius without the charge and 1080 radius with the charge, which is insane. And he also has the same SA1 as the 6th Anniversary Aizen. 3000 length beam with the 1020 width. This character is nuts. This character is actually very nuts and I'm glad that this character did not get completely shafted. Sure, he only has one bad SA1, but the rest of his kit? It's still good. I actually quite like it, and honestly, I do want this character. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this character also has uh, Instakill on his special. That's all I wanted to point out. So, uh, <clears throat> final character of the banner, which I do feel like he is the best in banner, Jushiro Ukitake, because this character is a Nad Flurry God, has Hollow Killer, and can boost. This is the character that we needed for ranged Hollow because we've been lacking an actual booster for the longest time, like, in ranged Hollow Week for hard mode, because we did not have the actual character, you guys would be pretty much relegated to using the likes of Masaki, Tokinata, and even Thousand Year Blower now, just to be able to infinite boost and basically inflict paralysis on all of the attacks. Well, now, finally, ranged Hollow Week is finally getting its character, and this character is freaking busted! Like, like, look at what this character has, like, he has poise. Multi-barrier plus two, which means that upon using the second Tron attack, he's basically gonna gain an additional two barriers. So instead of being three barriers, it's basically gonna be five. Guard break, flurry, enhancer plus 10 seconds, debilitator plus two seconds, bruiser at 40%, berserker at 30%, speed attribute captain normal attack damage plus 20 percent and he has drain on everything and he can boost what the hell is this character and he has a 20 percent normal attack damage like, guys he has an 80 percent bruiser if not a bit more since the speed attribute kept the normal attack damage plus 20 percent is a different type of multiplier it's more or less akin to full stamina damage boost to give you guys an actual perspective and if you guys have fierce battle yoruichi you can get his Freaking bruiser up at 100%. This character is by far the most broken mad character that we have in the game. Like, <laughs> and it's the same uh, type of uh, normal attack damage string that you guys would expect. The same one that um, Tokinata has, Masaki, Aizen, uh, blah blah blah. You guys get it. It's pretty good. The SA1, the strong attacks in and of itself aren't the best. But honestly, you just are going to use him just because of the fact that he's an ad character. You're not going to use him as a hybrid or an SP-based character like 
He has the 18% mag pushback attack, second strong attack, same SA1 as Art Book Ichigo, with the fact that it can also boost, and then the third strong attack is full screen. Like, you're only gonna be using the SA1 just for protection. Literally, that is the only use you're getting out of this. And the SA3, same thing, just for protection. So, it being a bad kit for the strong attacks is not a big deal because you want to be protected with this character as you auto and as you manual play. Like, that is all I gotta say. And guys, another thing that I want to point out, because this character has drain, you guys can actually make the perfect usage out of using the White Day Tsukishima Link since it has normal attack damage plus 16% full stamina damage boost. He has drain and he also has a boost with barriers. So even if you happen to lose a bit of health, you'll be able to get your full stamina damage boost back with E. So I'm just putting it out guys. Use the Tsukishima link on this character because he's going to be making use of the actual link perfectly just like 6th anniversary Aizen would be with the movie one Ichigo link. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, to sum things up, uh, go all in on the uh, main banner, or well, just drop until you basically get either two of the characters and then save for the individual banner and call it a day, basically. Other than that, this banner is goaded. I do think that you guys should actually summon for this. If you guys care about PvP, go for Yamamoto. If you guys care about guild quests for ranged holo week, go for Jushiro. If you guys want to have a better time at farming Mind IZ, and if you guys don't have Kisuke, go for Shunsui. Best way to pretty much put it about it. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching this video. I know this was quite a long one since I was breaking down every single one of the characters and whatnot. But that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy, The Best Master. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Take it easy, y'all. Peace out.